Now, David and Sippy are in Auschwitz. Everyone knows one of the worst places on Earth of all time. Sippy almost, I don't know how to describe, she becomes very important to the bad guys. And I think a lot of it has to do with everything that you've talked about. She has this personality, but she also had skill sets. And as with anything with the Holocaust, a good amount of luck because you showed up in Auschwitz and if they just decided, oh, you're going right instead of left, it may be over for you right away. How much of Sippy's survival was luck and how much of it was her skill and perseverance? Yeah, that's a great question. I think luck definitely has a lot to do with it because, yeah, like you said, they could have just placed her arbitrarily, you know, on a line and sent her to a gas chamber. But I think also she knew many languages. That was something that that ingratiated her because she was able to speak with them. And Sippy had this curiosity for human beings She just wanted to speak with people. She didn't care what your nationality was. She didn't care if you were a political prisoner, if you were a Nazi, if you were homosexual or Romani, whatever you were and whatever reason you were there, she had conversations with people and she got to know them as human beings. And so her friends started pulling favors for her, not the Nazis, but the Jewish friends, the political prisoners started helping her out when she was sick. And then when she started working for the Nazis, she became indispensable for them. She was making them look good for the Berlin headquarters in that she was extremely organized. She was able to keep statistics and data for them. She created these graphs. She made this three-dimensional model of Auschwitz, and they were impressed by her work. So as long as she kept making them look good, they weren't paying attention to her. So I think that, yeah, it was a combination of, of just grit and luck 